guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University, and I'm going to explain 10 things about Maggot in about a minute. Maggot's first appearance was in Uncanny X-Men issue number 345 in June of 1997, and he was created by Scott Lodell, Ben Rabb, Joe Madura, and Melvin Ruby. Born in the small village of Otosup, northwest Tresval in South Africa, the boy named Jepeth was diagnosed with stomach cancer, preventing him from digesting solid food. In an attempt to spare his family from watching what he imagined was an inevitable demise, he took the family jeep to the Kalahari Desert to die. He was 12 years old. When the jeep ran out of fuel, he realized that his younger brother, Daniel, was hiding in the back. They were rescued by Magneto, who determined that Maggot had a sentient digestive system in the form of two slugs that would burrow in and out of his stomach to eat. The slugs, who he named Eeny and Meeny, could eat literally anything, and they would return to Jepeth to provide him with sustenance. The feeding would turn his skin blue for a short period, during which he would have increased size, durability, and strength. While his strength is never measured, it appears to be somewhere between Spider-Man and Luke Cage. On one occasion, one of Maggot swallows a small bomb. The detonation resulted in nothing more than a small burp. There was a side effect to the slugs eating, in so much as they reveal past and current events surrounding the objects they eat. Maggot is often considered the worst X-Men by readers, but he has a cult following. And that's 10 Things About Maggot, in about a minute.